Hey, this is Andy. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install the continuing system for Epson XP 600 and 800 printers. Okay, let's start. Uh, these are the two, 273 cartridges for this printer. Open the, open the caps. This is the switch jumper for this printer. So we put the switch jumper to here and to let the printer know that the top lid has been closed. Because of the gap is too, uh, there's not much gap here. So you probably cannot close the cover completely. So we have to leave the, the printer about like a uh, half an inch open, maybe one inch open. So that's why we need this switch jumper. Let's try this. Oops. All right. Um, so you press. See in cartridge is all correctly. Normally the first time the the printer will give you the message this is not genuine uh, Epson cartridge. So you have to press OK here and just let the printer to take this uh, this cartridge which PFD attach the the bracket here. Adjust the tubing. It's not too long and not too short. Then we're back to the ink reservoir. So the first time, uh, you better flip the flip the ink bottle like this to move. There are two chambers for this system for each color. And we, we move all the ink, we move all the ink to the front chamber. So when you open the air vent, the ink will not leaking out. Like this. All right, and you close the cover. Put it here. and make a copy.
sometimes you get uh, the printer cannot recognize the following in cartridges. Try to install them again. Uh, normally, it will give you the color of the cartridge. This means you need to reset the, the cartridge. What you do is you press this button and take this switch jumper out, just like open the lid. And then just reinstall it. 